Hey YouTube, it's Mitch. Today we're going to be looking at five or six tweaks that are paid that I feel like is pretty awesome tweaks for you guys all to check out. First one I want to share with you is called Home Display. And Home Display is what you see up there just under my status bar. And it does have a few settings. Well, not really. You can only turn it on and off, enable, disable. So that's pretty much it. But if you turn it off, you have to respring, as you can see there. But you see the little uh, July 5th, uh, 2013, whenever we go back to the home screen here. And it also shows the temperature. But it only uses your space up on your, on your screen when you're on the home screen. All right, now we're going to be looking at one called Pattern Unlock. This is an Android style unlock for the iOS. And when you unlock it, you have to enter a code the first time. And you can turn it on and off from inside the settings. And you can set the time frame, how long you want it to be before you have to enter it. You know, like if you want to wait a minute or two, if you lay your phone down and pick it right back up, you won't have to enter the uh, the the pattern immediately. That makes it pretty convenient if you're using your phone and you don't want to be interrupted. I apologize for the dog. Apparently, she acts like she's dying here. All right, the next one we're going to look at. Um, let's go ahead and get this unlock out of the way. This one here is a for probably all the music lovers out there. Um, well, audio files, I guess you could say, called Volume Amplifier. It magnifies your volume by 200%. And if you're in an automobile or something, then you know how hard it is to hear your phone. Well, this will actually increase your volume by 200% where you don't have that problem anymore. So you can check these all of these tweaks out in the primary repos too. I should have told you that. You shouldn't have any trouble finding any of them. And that one was called Volume Amplifier. Okay, the next one we're going to look at is going to be for the music lovers. Uh, it's called Mini Player. And what it does is it puts a little player... It follows you along anywhere you are inside iOS, whether you're inside the settings app, whether you're inside uh, the App Store app, any other place you may be. It follows you along and you can have control of your music at any time. You can search for a certain song. You can turn your music on and off. You can forward, rewind, jump to a different song, and a few more other things. It's a very handy tweak to have if you listen to a lot of music you will really enjoy it uh, the next one we're going to look at is one that I use a whole lot it's called notes tweak what this does it lets you order your notes by title alphabetically different ways you might want to do that and it also lets you favorite different notes so let's go in here and find a note and create a couple different ones so I can show you what we're talking about and I'm just going to type a bunch of random letters here to not take up a lot of time trying to type a name or something so let's go ahead and we'll favorite that one and then we, let's create a couple more just hit a couple random notes or keys here letters and iOS has the spell check is Turn that into Greg, which I didn't mean to do that, but that doesn't matter. You can see that the HHH is at the top because we favorited it. If we turn the favorite off and favorite the Greg one now, you'll see that the Greg note will be at the top. It's just a handy way to keep notes that you want to look at often right at the top of the list. That's what I use it for a lot. You know, like if that may be my passwords or if I have a phone number or address or something like that. Sometimes I've used it for that reason. And the last one I want to share with you guys is one that just came out in the last week or so called LiveWire Pro. There is a LiveWire free version. And personally, I say go with the free version because if you ask me, I don't think this tweak is worth the 99 cents by no stretch of the imagination. 
they added four or five extra animations and truthfully they're not all that good and that's pretty much all they did um, so you know Livewire is a pretty cool tweak but the Livewire Pro in my personal opinion definitely not a tweak that should have been paid and these guys uh, they've been around long enough they should know that so there's about six tweaks guys hit that subscribe button before you leave and don't forget to keep coming back